minutes what your mindset is in a moment like that and then um, maybe what you saw on the interception how, how you felt um well as always you know first and foremost all the glory goes to the man above um you know there's a lot of things that's going on but you know we wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for him and um those last final minutes you know defense gave us a chance you know, they gave us a lot of opportunities and um you know just thinking we'll play at a time just thinking um try to make it a one score game again a one possession game and um on the interception you know that's just you know a nice play by uh, their safety number 16. um you know he read my eyes and you know i i, I threw it to the to the undercross and um you know that's that's just my fault you know trying to trying to um, probably do too much i guess in the red zone and um In the second quarter, as you guys were going on the drive score in your first touchdown of the game, uh, had anything clicked, had anything changed, you know, when you were starting that drive where the offense was really starting to move down the field and get a little bit further? Um, I think, you know, we, we probably did a good job moving the ball um, down the field the whole time, um, just a matter of finishing. And we knew they had a, a good red zone defense. And, you know, Penn State, this whole season, they haven't really given that much points, you know, this whole season. Um, but, you know, our first drive, our first um, touchdown drive, I mean, that was just, you know, us playing fast and, um, you know, everyone doing their job. I mean, I had great protection um, for that whole drive and um, yeah, just throwing the ball on the field. Network solutions, managed IT, and technical support. Viner Forgates makes your company work. Solutions to protect your business from WatchGuard, including firewalls and endpoint protection. Protect your company and make your company work with solutions from Viner Forgates. Talia, uh, Chig and Corey Dyke just combined for 16 catches today. What did you like out of them in the passing game? Yes, sir. I'm coming into this game. You know, we knew we had to get the ball in their hands more. They're, they're both very great playmakers for us, and um, you know, I'm happy to see them do great things. You know, with the ball in their hands, and both of them really stepped up, whether it was blocking or you know, running routes and stuff like that. So, um, you know, they did they did a really great job, and hopefully, we can get more balls in their hands. So. Uh, Tali, could you take us through that play in the second half where it looked like they a Penn State player on the bench like knocked you as you was going out of bounds? Like, because it like did you get like the wind knocked out of you when he did that? Like, could you take us through that? Which one? Uh, in the second half when you ran out of bounds and like a Penn State player like pushed you? Oh, on the sideline. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I was. Um, I mean, I couldn't really see anything. I was looking where the ball went, um, and then I just got knocked down, and um, I felt hard on my head, so my head was like buzzing. And um, I thought they were going to call it a penalty, but, you know, I guess stuff like that happened. I just wanted to check after that play, uh, what was the procedure? You went about when you went back on the sideline or you missed the next play? After which play? After you were pushed down and you, you missed the next play, what was the procedure when you got back to the sideline? Yeah. Um, they were saying like they stopped the uh, clock or they stopped the, the game because I was on the ground or something like that. So I guess it kind of counted like as I was injured on the ground or something like that. But I mean, I so they told me I had to take one play out. So um, you know, they the refs know the rules and all. So I just try to I try to you know fight it and say I'm I was good. But 